Good evening, good afternoon, I hope you're well, I hope you've had a lovely day, I hope you've had fun watching Sarah and Becky and uh, Corin on Crafters TV today, I was dotting in and out all throughout today, how awesome is Becky when she's presenting, I mean since day one, let me tell you, since day one she was a bit nervous, she was a bit nervous, but um, how awesome is she, she's an absolute absolute natural hope we we'll get to see becky doing presenting uh more and more because she's just brilliant at it and i love watching her it's nice seeing her there uh on the presenting side but yeah i've seen the uh I've seen about the last 45 minutes here on crafters tv so you've got myself and sarah for the mid show tomorrow which is our halloween launch hence why i thought i gave sarah a text this morning because me and lily done a two hour first look two weeks ago then I know Sarah and Becky kind of done an hour first look with it yesterday. And I thought, I'm a pushing it at the moment with too much of it before you can get your hands on it. And Sarah was like, no, go for it. You know they'll love to see it. And I thought, right, let's do it. Let's do it ahead of tomorrow's launch. I thought, let's have another look. We'll have a play with them. Um, I do have a demo pack that was already and raring to go that I won't actually need for any of the shows. So I'm going to use it within the live. However, instead of using lots of the bits that I've pre-done, we will just make it all from scratch. So um, it's not going to be bits. There might be the odd bits that I'll use that I've already pre-done. But other than that, we'll start from scratch when it comes to the card. But yes, I think um, even I'm not sure who's presenting in the morning. And tell you what, let me just look at our schedule at the moment. I'll tell you. I know it is Michelle. So let's have a look. Tuesday wake up call. It is. It's Lily and Michelle. So wake up call, you've got Lily and Michelle, and then in the middle, launch day, you've got Sarah and myself, and then you've got, oh, there is, oh, that's it, there's only the two Crafters TV shows tomorrow, because me and Sarah, so, me and Sarah have got QVC UK preview in the morning, and then we've got the two hour launch, and then we've got the HSN preview, because Ben's off on holiday, so I'm stepping in. Uh, so because that's on, there is no launch party, which te which makes sense now as to why Sarah's been over the weekend doing launches and launch party, et cetera, et cetera. So that all makes sense. So yes, you have got, you've got Lily and Michelle in the morning, and then you've got Sarah and myself in the middle of the day for launch day. And then if you are still going to be watching all throughout today, we're on in the morning, as I said, QVC UK preview and then HSN preview. Uh, I have to say, the reason I'm a couple of minutes late, that is because I hit the live button and I'm thinking, I think, Nan's coming up on my phone to say that I'm live. And I realised I actually hadn't hit the live stream button on the app. I just hit the record button, which all that it does is it just records whatever I do. It doesn't go out live. So I had to restart. So that's why I'm a few minutes early. Uh, right to you. So lots of you from YouTube, which is lovely to see. It's lovely to see more and more of you are watching on YouTube. Don't worry, these will still all be on Facebook. But I think nowadays with technology, most TVs have the YouTube app. So I think more and more of you are watching from YouTube. Uh, that's what I do when it comes to things. Crafty Stacey losing, Michelle's in. We've got Kirsty D's in. We've also got Lynn saying hi, everyone. Hella Bent, so they were from YouTube. Hella Bell saying hi, all from around the globe. That's sweet imp. Shadai is saying hi, you're on Facebook. We've also got uh, Kathy Lear saying hello crafters, tuning in from Central Illinois. Let me go this way so you can kind of get my, my eye line. We've got Craig Rancourt saying hi all. Hi to you. Cindy, hi everyone. Lynn Morton saying hi. Uh, we have got you guys that are on uh, YouTube. We've got Don Braddock saying hello everyone. Hi Craig, New Jersey here representing Whoop, whoop, New Jersey, Dawn's on YouTube. No, she's not. She's on Facebook. Sam's saying, split screen for me. Manchester United, EPL game. Just started to... Oh, is there football on tonight? Is there? And that's not a sarcastic question. That is a genuine question. Me and football, don't know. 
Don't know. Uh, we've got Bla uh, Lynn Blackledge, hashtag go live grannies and saying good evening. Kathy, Diana, Shadaya. We've then got Hannah Goslin smith Hi, Craig. I love Sarah and Becky as a combo. They're brilliant, aren't they? They're really, really good. Uh, Len, ha Halloween is coming indeed. Yes, I uh, got that printed. I was having a little play with my cricket machine earlier on. Actually, do you want to see it? Do you want to see what I've done for launch? Not for QVC or HSN, but for launch day tomorrow. Let me go and get it. So I don't tend to wear purple on Crafters TV occasionally. Uh, usually I just keep purple for Hobby Maker. And then on Crafters TV I'll wear any of my nice shirts or something like that. So I thought, right, tomorrow, launch day, I'll get one of my, my, my purple shirts. And then I was having a little play with my cricket machine. So I've gone and done Halloween is coming. On the back. Now, I've just got a Cricut Joy, hence why it's small. Of course, I could have done them all individual and made it bigger. But I just thought that was fine. You know, for most of the time, you just see me, dress jacket, purple tee. And then on the back, whenever I turn around, you've got Halloween is coming. So that is what I have got. Excuse it does need an iron. I could have ironed it, actually, while I was doing the damn thing. But hey-ho. Uh, so, yeah. That's going to be tomorrow's attire. Bethan's in, Evelyn's in, Linda's in, our Susie's in saying hello from New Orleans. You're all on Facebook. Lynn is saying, Lynn Bledsoe is saying hello. I love the Halloween is coming tag on your box. <laughs> no way. Uh, we've got Sculpt Torlil. Sculpt Torlil. Apologies if I've said that wrong. Pauline Pitts is in saying Becky's a fresh of breath here. Love her present. Love it too. Seamless. Seamless. We've got Becky. No, Becky. It's because we just said Becky. We've got Kathy saying thank you for sharing the launch. I need Halloween supplies. Uh, um, Craig, is there a chance you could one day do a Facebook Live about making cars to sell and setting up as a shop? Because that would be super helpful. Or is that not in your real house? Now, do you know something, Hannah? I know that you asked this question the other week there on Crafters TV. And we we actually discussed, is it something to to talk about on it? And we talk about sell your cards and we'll give you hints and advice and that. It just doesn't, to, to fill a full Facebook Live about what you would make and how you would say, it doesn't, it doesn't warrant like a full Facebook Live. Everyone and everything is different. It de it depends on your the part of the country that you're at, the part of the world that you're at. Um, is it a is it a part or is it a town or an area that has a how do you know that is high in income? low in income you know if it's low in income then they're not going to then purchase cards that have got lots of embellishments and layers that will then up your price it's one of those uh hannah that when if you've got certain questions then you know fire them across to us on our social media and we'll help you that way um but to just do a for a live we would need to make something and everyone every place all across the globe is completely different all that i would say is keep in mind you can't charge for your time you think what's i what is the what is the going rate at the moment in the UK anyway, I don't know, about £11 an hour, you can't charge £11 an hour on top of what it is to make the cards, so you have to think of it that way, you've got to think of it realistically and keep it minimal to a point, certainly if you're selling them in stores, it's different if someone asks you if you're commissioned to make it, then you can put a premium on there. But if you're selling them in cafes or fets or stores or anything like that, you need to think of your time and how much value is within that card. So if there is anything specific or that, what to do is fire your questions across to any of us on the team. We'll be happy to help. It's not it's it's hard to do a full live on that one that one subject where it's completely different all across the globe. 
Uh, Laurie saying t-shirts perfect. Uh, Busy Lizzie, do you like your cricket? I was thinking of getting one, but I'm not very technical. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to use it. I am already one in one of the big ones. Now, I don't mean like the huge big one that they've got on HSN in America. I don't, I, I'll never need anything like that. But just the next one up, a proper cricket machine. I love my joy. Absolutely love my joy. Uh, Alice is in. We've got Jill's in. We've got Crafty Stacy, Carletta, Anne is in. Uh, one of the best ways to go to a craft show and see how it is set up and see what the cost of the booth uh, space is. Absolutely, Anne, that's a really good point because you've got the cost of the space if it's a fair. Different if it's a cafe. I was very lucky. The cafe that I sold my cards didn't charge me. Um, I was lucky that people would go in to purchase my cards and then would maybe stay for a cup of tea or something like that. So it worked. It worked both ways. So there is a there's there's a there's a lot of thinking that goes into selling your cards. Start simple, and be proud of what you've made. Be proud of what you've made. Stephanie's saying, oh, you're speaking away to Jill there. Pamela's in, Mary Pat 1000's in, Julie's in saying good evening, evening to you too. If there is anything or that uh, question wise, you've got to fire my cross, as I always say as well. I'll try and have a look and have an answer as I go through. Um, if I do miss any, I'll go through tomorrow, throughout the day, and have a look. Uh, but also the lovely. Um, uh, you've seen that, that Susie's on. Susie did say as well, if there was any help that she could give, um, she will help away. So if she answers your question, don't worry, I know that she's given me a helping hand, but I really, really do appreciate that I'll also go over them as well, either later tonight or tomorrow. Uh, Pauline's saying, I have a cricket joy and a maker. I love them both so much that you can do it. Yeah, see, that's the thing. The only thing with the joy is you're limited with the size. I'm just looking at Texas out the corner of my eye there. Um, and I am thinking, mm, yeah, love my joy. I love it. So, right. Uh, shaped card based eyes that we've got here. Launching tomorrow with Sarah and myself. We've got the witch's hat and we've got the pumpkin. We'll do a very quick overview because I know, as I said at the start of the show, me and Lily done a first look and then Sarah and Becky had a look at them yesterday. So I will do a little bit of an overlook that we can see here. We've got the witches, wicked witches, which we're going to use within this live. And then we've also got the pumpkin spice. So we've got all of the dies and we've got all of the quirky stamps to go with them as well so i've got these incidentally just to say that um i have that here in the uk i've got them on hobby maker on wednesday so it's me and sarah on crafters tv with them tomorrow and then i've got two shows with them on hobby maker on wednesday I've actually got three shows on Hobby Maker, uh, but two of them are dedicated to these. So Witch's Hat, we've got all of the Witch's Dies, and we've got all these quirky sentiments as well. So lots and lots of things. Now, I've only got two finished samples here that I've taken from uh, yesterday's stash. We can see there, yesterday's stash, tomorrow's stash. And this is just showing them in different ways. Because I'm not going to use them in... A card blank style like Sarah showed you with the witch's two legs and the hat as an actual card style we're going to do it on a card base so there's just two ideas that you can make when it comes to these so what we're going to do is let's take I'm going to pop that light off because it's just reflecting so what we've got no I'm not going to put that back on because it's gone too dark now can't win can never win Right, so let's have a look. We've got our witch's hat here. Now, we've got lots and lots of dies to go with them. So I'm going to go in with my black matte card. Well, actually, first thing I do need to say is you may see me use a couple of things Halloween-esque. You are very welcome to ask, but I will not answer as to what it is and when it's coming. 
All that I would say is please remember, maybe you didn't know, myself and Debbie Robinson, we've got a big two hour Halloween first look this Sunday coming. So we've got a whole two hours where we're going to be showing you everything Halloween this year. So the shape card based dies that are launching tomorrow, that's the very first collection of our Halloween range this year that is launching. And then there's nothing the rest of the week. Myself and Debbie, we've got the big two hour first look on Sunday where we show you everything. And then the next big Halloween launch is a week today, Monday. So if you do see anything that I'm using, like I say, by all means, ask away what it is, when's it coming, I won't be answering it. All you need to do is tune in on Sunday to Debbie and myself. So that's all That's all the big teas that I'm going to give you. Big teas that I'm going to give. Right, so what we have got is we've got the dies here. And we're going to take... Well, before we do any die cut... I don't know, we we'll won't. Let's do the die cutting first. So what we're going to do is let's go in. I'm going to just use my black matte cardstock for this. And we're going to take our witch's hat. Now, I'm just going to trim this down. So let me trim the witch's hat down. Which in the first look with myself and Lily was saying how that would work as the Harry Potter sorting hat that you can see here. So if you wanted to come along and do that with your browns and your crafts, cardstock, and you wanted to do the distressing and full leather, etc, etc, then of course you could use that one. That would be good. Right, so I don't need my metal shim. So let's then use the witch's hat. So same plate configuration as we're used to when it comes to our wafer thin dies. Um, absolutely, Laurie knows exactly what I'm talking about. Absolutely knows what I'm talking about. I know uh, those incredible, incredible design team members that we got are um, loving what you're all going to see. So I'm going to do, I'm really into drop shadows at the moment. So I'm going to stick with that. And my hat is going to be black, which is hat's going to be black. And I'm going to have a white drop shadow. So coming in and running that one through. So then I'll have my white and then I'll also have my black. ever go quiet for seconds at a time it's just because I'm taking a drink so what we've then got is our additional witch's hat now remember when it comes to things such as your off cuts I think I drank that coca-cola too quick there when it comes to off cuts let me get a bit of white cardstock Always remember how you can be using these as stencils. So let me go in. Let me just go in with a brown. So I'm going to go in with a fryer brown here. Now I am kind of going off piece with this one here. So let's go in and let's take... Um, I'm just... Check it. Oh, yep. Yeah. No, it was just because I've seen a couple of you were saying that you couldn't find me on Facebook. I was just uh, I was just checking there that I had gone live on Facebook. And I, I am. So it was maybe, maybe just took a while for the connection to connect to Facebook. If you do prefer watching on Facebook, then it's there now, up and running. Otherwise, you are welcome to stay on YouTube. So yeah, just going off piece, just for a second or two, just to show, remember how you can then be using all of your off cuts and that. Use them as a stencil that you can then come along, start to ink. Now, wouldn't that be a great Harry Potter sorting hat? So using, using them in these different ways. 
Let me just put that ink there just now. So that is that. But let's go back in with these two here. And then what we're going to do, let's go in with the outer die here. And I love how you've got the boots and you've got the left and the right boot. Now I have got this one's already done. And let's just come in with the other one and let's do that one together. So once again, we're going to do our drop shadow. So I'm going to come in with the black and let's just tear that down. Now I know the Gemini will cut through two layers at the exact same time, but also if you follow me often, you know that I prefer to cut all my layers individually. So let's cut a few things at once. So let's go in with that band across the hat. That can go in with the orange. And then let's go in with another bit of black and white and let's go in with a corner spider web, which can go into there. We've got the buckle, which we can then cut into there. So let me move that and that out of the way. So we'll, we've got, now these are for the legs, but what you will find as I work my way through this project, I'm not going to actually use the legs. I'm using the hat and the feet, but I'm going to have a little bit of a play on the eye. And let's go with the dingly dangly spider. So let's take the black cardstock and that one can come down too. So let's bring in my low tap tape and let's just tape that one. We can then tape that one. We can then tape that one. And then what we can then do, and then um, that one there, here. So let's take all of that. So we can come along and do them just shortly. So let's cut, let's cut, let's cut, and then let's cut. So we can do these ones. Let's set that to the side. And then we're just going to run that one through. And then we're just going to run that one through there. So we've already seen it go through once. So we'll go on, let's just have a few look at the comments. Just while that's doing its cutting. Um, we've got, uh, right, where are we? Mary Ann is saying hello from Detroit, Michigan. We've got, as well, Crafty Stacey Lou saying the same. Reminds me of the Harry Potter sorting hat. Do you know something? As soon as I seen that die, the first thing I actually thought of was Harry Potter before uh, thinking of a witch. Geraldine's from upstate New York. We've got Peg Conrad says hello from Indiana. Uh, Sharon saying, hi, Craig, hope you're well. I am very well, thank you very much. We've also got Evelyn is saying, it must be out of touch. When is the next HSN show? Uh, the following week. Because we've got QVC UK with a TSV on Wednesday night going into Thursday. So HSN must be the following week. We've got... Lynn is saying, usually on YouTube, but Facebook tonight. I can tell that, Lynn, because your name comes up in blue. So if you're watching on Facebook, your name comes up in blue. If you're watching on YouTube, your name comes up in red. We've got Diane is in, um, Hannah Goslin smith is this live on YouTube too? It is, um, Hannah, if you go across to my Crafter's Companion YouTube channel, so it's the same, if you go into YouTube and do uh, Craig Laird CC, you will find it there, or if you go, if you look at my Facebook post earlier on today about this live, I put a link, I think it's youtube.com forward slash Craig Laird CC, something like that, but yeah, you can watch across there. Thank you, Susie, for letting her know that it is. We've then got Linda saying, do you still have your Gemini Junior? I love mine. I can't afford the G2, but would love to have it. Um, I do still have it. I still say it's my favourite machine. 
I don't use it at the moment, and that's only because I think um the the novelty is not worn off yet of the G two. Um, and if I'm honest with you, I don't think it will because everything within the G two does have a proper um. It's got a reasoning as to why all the new bits have been added. You know, okay, I don't tend to use the media stand a lot, but I use that to lay stuff on. We've got the trays, USB. My devices are plugged into the USB slots at the back here. I love it's quieter. I like that it's uh, quicker as well. I love how we've got the optical sensor so we don't have to put our plates in sideways now we can literally go in any way at an angle i'm not going to do that just in case my dies have moved and therefore damage my dies um but as it is um my junior still it's just at the side of me, just here right at the side of me so i know that i'll still be going back and still be using it so uh yeah uh i do still love it Lillian saying, I only realised Facebook was working when Craig started reading comments from there. Gotcha. Yeah, it must have just been connection across to Facebook must have just taken a few uh, few moments longer. Uh, we've got Amy. Oh, so way ahead of me. These pieces. Those pieces just don't look like legs. It's the way that you position them because the top of that, although it's like a little egg oval shape you know the top's going to be tucked underneath the hat the bottom's going to be tucked in the boots so it's going to kind of give you these long uh scrawny legs that witches apparently have so um yeah that's what they're for Beth saying absolutely love it we've got a lot you just speaking away to each other should i say well well, you are prepared for the show tomorrow. I am indeed, although it's Sarah that's doing all the demo and I'm presenting. We've got Susie is saying, I have the Cricut Joy Machine too. I've not really used it. Maybe need your help when I get there. Do you know something? The amount that I... I done it on my phone. My T-shirt... My... Oh, gosh. Um, my T-shirt on the back there, believe it or not, I've done it from my phone and I could do it bigger and even from your big cricket and that if you're not aware you can do it from your phone or your device or that it's incredible and it's one of those that once you start to to do it's like anything the more you do it the easier that it gets uh right um we've got uh susie depends on yeah actually that's a really good point susie thank you for for that i'll just uh clarify that before i crack on so my lives if i'm doing like live tonight i'm just doing it. it's my own time it's my free time um I don't get paid for it. I do it for the enjoyment because I love doing it live with you. Same as Debbie Robinson. She's exactly the same. We do it in our own time, our free time. We don't get paid for it overtime, nothing like that. We do it because we love crafting. We love doing lives and crafting away with yourself. When I do these lives, they're across here and on my YouTube channel. The one in the, the Gemini Club, that is just in that group. Um, so if it's in the group, so I'll sometimes do one in the Gemini, I'll do one monthly in the Gemini club group and I'll occasionally do one in the craft club. Those two are solely just Facebook. But when it comes to these ones in my own time, um, I'll do them both here and on Facebook. But I always let you know where you're going to be able to find my life. So thank you for um, clearing or clarifying that one. Uh, Susie, I appreciate that. Craig, what's the signif significance of 13 that you're wearing? What's the signif significance of 13 that I'm wearing? Have I got 13 on the back? I've got 23 on the back. That's the money in the bank. 20, 23. 23's on the back. Um, not sure about thirteen. Not thirteen on the back. No, must be must be the t-shirts. Th it's twenty three that I've got. Twenty three. Righty, oh, so let's crack on with these now. So we've got our little boot that we've got here, and we've got one of 
the little buckles. Let's go in with our little spider. And there's my wee pokey tool. Let's find it. Uh, poke our spider out. So all of these I've drawn drop shadows with. Of course, you don't have to, but I just think it looks... I don't know. There's just some... There's, it's just a phase that I think I'm going through at the moment. I do a drop shadow with most things. So there's that one. Let's just take... All that out. Get my pokey tail. It's fallen in the bin. So let's go in with these ones. So let's go in. Does it need not that was that one? So we've got our spider web. We've then got our boot and our buckle. So that can go into here. Remember, you could be doing all your own different colourful backgrounds. You could be cutting these into patterned paper if you want to. Um, you know, lots of things. So let's give you that one. So then we need to chop that one. So I think that's that, that, that. That's a spider. So what we can then do yeah, the spider web die is really, really cool, isn't it? I like how it's a little corner one as well, so you can make a half spider web or you can make a, a whole circle spider web if you want to. Anything like that. You can do that. No bother. It's all about that creativity. And the the ways that you use it, getting ink through it or spritz through it. So there's that one. There is that one. And then, so I don't need, let me put that there because I don't need that. And then what we've then got is I don't need that one because I've got that. Going with a little spider. Uh, would you ever do a craft room tour? I am. Um, I did do one. E oh, this was ages. This was ages. This was before I was on YouTube. So the chances of finding the the live that I'd done, where I'd done the tour of my craft room on Facebook, is going to be. Nigh all impossible. Um, maybe I should do an updated one. I'm quite satisfied with the organisation that I've got in my craft room. It's not. It's not. It's an organised mess. Let's put it that way. Although a lot of people would probably say that it's still nice and neat and tidy. Right, so that is all these bits here. So I think I've got all the bits cut. Actually, do you know what? I shall cut. Let's just take all of these. Let's take these because we've got all of these tiny, tiny, tiny little circles. Now, these tiny little circles, these are going to be great for faux embellishments. You know, if you're doing a man's card, instead of gems or pearls, die cut some of these circles and then use them. So I've got all these here. So what I'm then going to do, let me just get my card stock. And let's take that. Oops, did I accidentally show you something there? So let's take a little bit of an orange. So I just need a little bit and a little bit of purple. I think that's all that I used. 
and I've got lots and lots and lots of these already cut out. So I'll do a few anyway. So we've got these circles here, here, and then all of these two. So let's do a load of these little dots in the orange, and then we'll do a lot within the purple. There's these ones. Uh, Craig, can you tell me how you organise your die? I keep my dies in their packaging. And then I have the IKEA Kallax units. And then I have inside, inside the Kallax units, that's where I store everything. So, for instance, my... I'll just give a very quick visual. So in that one, I keep meaning to label them, but I've not got drowned to it yet and I know what it is. In that one there, I've got my cut and emboss folders and my 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 3D my 3D embossing folders, my cut and emboss folders. In that one, I've got my 2D embossing folders and embossing folders with stencils. That one, I can't remember what I've got. Uh, actually, it's dies I've got in that one there. Um, but I separate them. So I've got white mount board that I cut down to 12 by 12. And then what I'll do is I'll have a range of 3D embossing folders, bit of mount board. Then behind it, I'll have the other range of 3D. So I keep them all in ranges. I keep them all in packaging. And I divide them with white mount board. You can use your white thicker card, of course, if you want to. But that's how I store all of mine. And then I'll have things like my word dies or my sentiment dies i'll have my alphabet dies i'll have my um font dies i just have them all themed all themed in their original kind of collections it's just i'm not one that don't get me wrong our storage folders and binders they're fab. You know, if you love to store all of your collections, all your dies together, and, you know, if you're maybe not quite lucky enough to have the space, then storage folders and dividers, they're absolutely the best thing. But if you're like me, I just like things in original packaging. I know where they are. I know what came with what. And likewise, if I'm the, to, off the top of my head, the ellipse dies, so the ellipse alphabet dies, they came with a couple of sets of stamps. So I keep all them together. So I will keep... Um, if stamp and dies came together, then I keep them together. That's basically what I'm trying to say. So I keep everything in the way that they came. Collections and all. So let's do these ones. Let's get another little bit of tape. And tape that down. Other than the main die, the rest of them will all go through things such as your Gemini Mini. My nephew went to the WWE in New York a month ago. Oh my God, I'm so jealous. So, so jealous. I think they were in Madison Square Garden just not that long ago. I think they were in, I was about to say the Staples Centre, that's LA. Uh, the Barclays Centre, I think they were there as well. I know they've been in a couple of areas throughout New York, upstate as well. But yeah, that would be... That's a dream for me. That is my ultimate bucket list thing, is to see the WWE, not just in New York, but to see them in Madison Square Garden. That is my absolute bucket list, top of my list item. 
You know, I've been fortunate to go to Madison Square Garden on my 30th birthday. And I've been very fortunate to see the WWE quite a few times here in the UK. But I would love to see them together. Right, let me just put them back. And then what I had done is let's find we've got a little bit of scrap cardstock let's take a little bit of scrap cardstock so what i've done with these tiny 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 ones uh, it's there so there's these ones here so i just cut these ones out a load of time so i'm not going to do them loads because as i say this is the one element of the project that I will use what I've already pre-cut because I've done uh, his autism and learning disabilities and that's his thing he's going to London soon to see it there oh brilliant oh oh um crafty Stacy is that is he going to AEW is he going to AEW all in and um in uh, Wembley, because if he is, I'm I'm going there as well. Um, I know AEW. I'm not an avid follower of AEW like I am with WWE, but the event, the AEW event, that is that's an absolute must for any wrestling fan. That's an absolute must, and I'm actually going. Some of you guys here in the UK, you'll know who I'm talking about because I'm going with. Uh, so it's me. It's Dan Bancroft. Martin Parker, both from Crate and Craft, and Simon, one of the guys that works backstage, the four of us, we are going to AEW in Wembley at the end of this month. So um, I'm really looking forward to it, considering um, I'm not a, I, I'm not going to say I'm not a fan of AEW. I am. I'm just not much of a follower, a dip in, whereas I'm really looking forward to this. It's going to be good. Uh Crafty Stacey Luke, yeah, uh-huh, yeah, oh, I'm going there as well. Yeah, me, me, Dan, Martin, and um, Simon, three of the guys from Creating Craft here in the UK. Ah, oh, brilliant. Oh, you'll yeah, yeah, love that. You'll yeah, love it. Bless them. Oh, I love it. So bless me as well, eh? <laughs> so we've got a couple of these little dots here. So let's take these ones... So what I had done, so I'll show you what I've been doing and then I'll bring in all the ones that I have done. So let's take, I'm just wanting to stick all them back so I don't lose them. Into there. So let me move the dies. I don't think I need the dies now. So if I then go... Let me zoom in that a little bit more. So what I've done is I've done four little white dots. So let's take two, two purple, and then two orange. And then what I've done, I've just got like a little picky up pencil. And then this will all become apparent as I start to build the project. So let's bring these ones in, into here. We're going to then take these little dots there and then there. Uh, he booked it himself without telling my bro all, but my bro is away, so my bro has uh, had to get his friend to take him. <laughs> oh, good on him. Good on him. Uh, Sam, please tell me the plate configuration. This is my first time watching with the Gemini 2. Okie doke. So, this is... Um, Susie, did you see Lynn? Lynn I've never seen uh, Lynn's comment. Sorry, Lynn. She asked if you saw Debbie and Debbie trying to sing her Halloween song is coming. They didn't know the words. It was really fun. No, I never. Oh, I'll need to go back and watch. Let me go back and watch. Uh, right, the... So, Sam Golden. So, these are classed as our normal... 
oh, let's just get a hold of them. These are just classed as our normal wafer thin dies. So usually our wafer thin dies are our top cut. No, actually, let's do it from up above. It's better. Our, our uh, usually it's our base plate. It's our card stock. It is our wafer thin die. And then it's our frosted, frosted shim magnetic and top plate now that's what it is for all wafer thin dies <clears throat> however not wanting to confuse you i'm not sure if you've ever seen debbie debbie robinson talk about this and that is have a look at your dies because if it's a simplistic shape like that it, certainly with the power of the Gemini, it doesn't always need that much of the pressure from the plates. And this is a key point. So I did talk about this during the, lawn, uh, the first look. So what I'm going to do with these ones here is base plate, cardstock, frosted shim, I'm not going to put in the magnetic shim, but I am just going to go in with that top plate. And then I'm going to run that one through. And wait, you see, this will probably put, prove me wrong. When I've been prepping all of these, this is the plate configuration I've been using. Yeah, look at that. Oh, forgot to switch over. Look at that, that's cut out, no problem at all. So you, whereas we usually say with your wafer thin dies, it's your base plate, frosted, magnetic and top plate. Have a look at your dies. If it's a simplistic shape, try using the plate configuration without that magnetic shim. As you can see, that's cut no problem at all. What that will also do is, and I did see Susie talking about it in the comments there. I didn't see what she was saying, but I see you talking about the comments about prolonging the life of the plate. Now, that will stop it from buckling as much. It will always buckle. The more you flip and rotate your plates, the less that's going to happen. If you keep doing that, these ones will last three times longer. They will last longer with the less amount of pressure. So for those dies, I just needed the two plates and the frosted, frosted shim, and that was it. So I'm relieving of it, of all that extra pressure that it doesn't need. So it's going to stop that intense pressure focus on the plates and it's going to stop them from buckling over. So again, not want to confuse you or contradict, contradicting myself. Usually with our wafer thin dies, we say our two cutting plates, frosted and magnetic. But nine times out of ten, give your die cutting a shot without the magnetic shim when it comes to the Gemini 2. And... If it doesn't quite work, just run it through again with a magnetic shim, but you'll be surprised how many of your dies cut with just the plastic plates and the frosted shim. So give them ones a shot. Hopefully that helps. Probably I've just explained a really easy way in a difficult forum, so hopefully not, but give that a shot and see. So, that being said, there are <coughs> the little dots and this is what I had done previously. So I've got all of these. You're welcome, Sam. I've got all of these. Do you know something else? And I really need to look up in my loft at all my wrestling figures that I've got. I've got a week's holiday coming up in September. And one of my plans is, and can I just say, I've been asked to take a week off because all my holidays are accumulating. I've not taken any holidays yet. How how can I, how can I take holidays on a job that, that we all love? I'm very lucky in that way. So I said, Craig, you might want to take one of your week's holidays. So I'm like, right, OK, it will do. So I've got a week's holiday coming up at the start of, well, actually... It starts when I go to London for AEW. So that's what's that, 27th, 27th, 
Sunday the 27th of April, uh, April of August. So I come off on the Saturday. So my plan is to sort my attic upstairs, my loft, because I've got so I've got all my Christmas stuff, which will be coming down in a couple of months. All my Christmas stuff, all my wrestling stuff, um, stuff that I've just thrown up, and twenty odd years of crafting stuff. In here, I've got Crafter's Companion, Hunky Dory, and Sticks Two, and now Cricket. Everything else I've still got, but it's up in the loft. So I really need to get it sorted. Really need to get it sorted. Um, Ask Ben and Debbie Fisher. They both know how to take holidays. Uh, yes. Yes. Don't they just? Don't they just? <laughs> Make me laugh. They really do. So these are lots and lots of like little dots that I've already just cut out beforehand. So as I say, this will all become apparent very soon. So let's start to then build this together. So I'm going to do my drop shadow. So I'm going to go on to the back of my black. So I'm going to have, usually in a drop shadow, but have the dark colour to the back and the light colour on the front. But for this, I want the witch's hat to, of course, be black and at the forefront. And then therefore, we're going to then put the black to the back. No, we're not. The white to the back. And then just do our drop shadow that we can see here. So then you can see, if I bring in another bit of black, you'll start to see where we've got that drop shadow. We've got... Uh, that's a huge job. Oh, tell me about it. Tell me about it. I need to um, start thinking about buying shit. Well, the first thing I need to do is I need to have a look at where the, the beams are, how the beams go up in the loft. I need to look at the direction that they go and what sort of... Oh, I've just... See, too much... Too much... I was saying too much chatting. Can there be too much chatting? Right, tell you what. So I was going to do the drop shadow there, as you can see. I've just put the glue on the wrong one. So let's use the one that I've already done. So we've got these ones. We've got these ones. So let's move them to the side. I'm going to go in... I'm even going to do a drop shadow on this teeny tiny spider. So I would do three of these. So this is one of them. And then I'll bring in the other two that I'd already done previously. So I'm not overly pernickety about how this drop shadow looks of the little spider. Just as long as I get a little bit of a drop shadow. So what we've got there. Um, have, have you got the ring, Craig? When I'm down, I sleep in my room, playroom, media room a couple of times. I've always slept on it. Ring? Have I got a ring? Not sure. Not sure what you mean with that one, Alison. I've got the ring. Let me know what you mean on that one. Right, for this one, so with the spider web and that buckle, I'm going to do it the other way. I'm going to have the white on the front and then the black to the back as the drop shadow. But this time, instead of doing my drop shadow where I tend to pull down to the bottom right hand corner, I'm actually going to pull up. So I'm actually going to go that way. So I'm meeting up and then I'm just pulling down towards me. So I've got the drop shadow on both sides. Oh, the wrestling ring. Sorry, got you. Uh, yeah, I've got an old wrestling ring up there. Yep, there's an, uh, probably, I think there's maybe about two two up there if not three there's definitely a couple that's for sure that's up that's up in the loft so let's go in with my little buckle there so that one i'll just do as kind of like a normal drop shadow 
we can go in. Now, of course, I'm using my white map my white multi-purpose and my black card stock you can be using your mirror cards as well your satin card stocks all of these you know your green luxury card stocks all of these are going to work a treat they really really are so our card we're going to be building the witch's hat on top of a card blank so there's that so there's that one and then there's the other one that I'd already pre-done. And then I've got my three spiders. But what I'm going to do with one of them, I'm going to then take just that little spider web strand off. So we've just got a single spider. So that's all of my elements there. Good to go so let's move these ones up and then we can bring in our card blank uh, same with that that can go up there that i'm just going to move to the side so i've got a little bit of a strange card blank shape for this one so when it comes to this one i've got it is a six by seven and a quarter six by seven and a quarter card blank that I've got here and let me just start to give that a good burn and I've gone for a tent fold because as you guys know that is uh, that is what I love so then I'm going to bring in my guillotine so what did I say it was six by six by seven and a quarter so I'm going to come in now with my black card so let's go tell you what let's take um let's go in here so i'm gonna go this way it's this bit that i want i couldn't decide there because i'm not wanting to lose some of that image what did i say six six inches so let's go five and a half And that was, so that was seven and a quarter. So let's go six and three quarters. Let me just check that. Yeah, perfect. So my pattern paper is six and three quarters by five and a half. Ooh, sorry, I'm just teasing now. That's really bad of me. I apologise. And then for this one, I really only want a very, very thin black matte and layer. So remember how I do that. I still do my quarter of an inch. So this time we're doing five and three quarters by seven. So as you can see here, that's just giving me a quarter of an inch matte and layer, which I don't want. So whenever I want a really, really thin black matte and layer or any matte and layer, I always still cut a quarter of an inch bigger and then... I come down like three millimetres or so at a time. So let's come down here. And then let's... Yep, I'm happy with that. Happy with that. Perfect. So there's that. Because I still want, I purposely want that white frame all the way around as well to help pull the eye in. What I've then got is I've got a piece of this paper which I can't tell you where it was from and it's from our temp I keep going to call it template library, our paper library. So I'm going to cut that five five and three quarters by four. So five and three quarters. That is four. Yeah, let's let's go, let's go with that. We're not going to see much of it. It's just to add something to the back. Now, once again, I want a very thin black matte and layer. So let's cut it a quarter of an inch bigger. So four and a quarter. 
by six. So that gives me my quarter of an inch matting layer all the way around. So then let's trim and trim and trim. But we've then got is are very, very thin here. Apologies, uh, Karen. I did, I did try to put out uh, uh, a little memo as early as I could to everyone to let everyone know that I was going an hour earlier than my initial plan time this morning. I know this morning I said that I would go live nine o'clock UK time, uh, but I, well, I went an hour early, but I did try and give everyone as much heads up as possible. So apologies that you didn't see that. So let's go in and let's start doing our mats and layers. So you go in with your adhesive of choice. I'm going in with my trusty double-sided tape that I love. So that layer can go onto there, but the black we're going to put onto pattern paper. Black onto pattern paper. Black onto foam pads. So this main matting layer can all go onto double-sided tape. In actual fact, do you know what I'm also going to do? I hadn't originally done this with my demo card. But I think what would work really well, if I can find it, uh, right, let's just come on, oh, here we go, I knew I had it somewhere, Edge Distressor, I think that would look quite good, given it kind of that distressed look around the edge. So I'm just going to hold it. The good thing with this is it doesn't matter whether you crease it or crumple it by the way that you hold it. It all adds to the effect. So I'm just going to go around. And don't need to worry about it being neat or be natural in the way that it looks. If it tears it bits, if it scrapes it bits, absolutely fine. So what we've then got is our third side and then what we've also got is our last side now by doing this as well this will give us a full white matte and layer because the center of the pattern paper is white so when we layer that onto the black that's then going to give us a full white matte and layer so let's take that off so if we take all these ones off and then matte and layer this onto the black card. Which can go in through there. As we can see, it gives us sort of that, that whiteness all the way around the edge. Uh, Agnes, it should be on our website. The little distressors should be on the website. Edge Crimpler, I think it's called. Doesn't have it on it. Uh, yeah, sure, it's Edge, edge Crimpler. A nice safer way than using scissors so this one we can then pop onto our card just here and then this one we can then layer on top of our black card like so now this one i'm not going to distress because as we say we're not going to see much of this anyway Let's hold that in and then let's go in with our foam pads, if I can find them, <laughs> saying if I can find them, of course I can find them, just need to get to them. So this layer we'll put on foam pads and because I've done a tent fold card, this is going to stand up with ease. 
course you don't have to go to town with the amount of layers that I'm doing. So we can layer that up. So let's bring all these layers together just now. So let's pop that into here. And then if we just hold that down. And then something else I've got is this stuff all that I'm going to say is yes this is going to be coming so let's just start to stretch Remember, if you didn't already know, myself and Debbie, we've got our two-hour Halloween first look this Sunday, where we're going to be showing you everything from our Halloween range this year. So for this, what I'm just going to do is just give this a really good wiggle of glue. You can be using tape runner, etc., etc., I'm just going to use my tacky glue. I'm just going to do a nice little wiggle at the bottom just here. And it's then going to here as well. Could be Santa, couldn't it? Really could be. So let's move that to the side for a moment so let's bring back in our little hat let's bring back in our little band let's bring back in our little buckle and then what we can also do is let's bring back in these little dots so i'm going to use so the ones that i've put the little circle ones on i'll use these ones uh, one, two, three, four. So I'll just use these ones just now. And I'm deliberately doing this before I put that little um, that little strip on there because I want it to have it kind of like as a natural coverage. So let's go in. these ones here so I didn't need that one so let's then pop that one up into here we've then got that one can go into there we can do a little bit of the orange into there do a little bit of orange to keep tearing these off. What I've then got, let's just stick them on because I don't want to waste them. Let's do dot, dot, dot. And got that one there. And then that one there. Let's do that one up into there. We've then, let's go, let's put that down into there. So that will go across into here. So maybe just a couple. So I'll tell you what I can do now is let's put that on now. Let's go in with foam pads so I'm being really generous with the height of this one which you don't have to you know you don't have to do all the layers that I'm doing with foam pads but now I've got all the main kind of embellishment dots on the hat 
What I'm then going to do is I'm going to come along. I'm just going to then position that in. Now that I've got the main ones, what I can then do is come along. So let's put another orange. Oh no, that just looks so odd. Let's come in with a tiny little dot. I'm going to infill just a few of these bits. Of course, you can come in with your greens if you want to. Dot and dot. There's also, on the die sheet, there's also stars. So if you didn't want to do little dots, you can do little, little stars if you want to. There, and then one up into there. Let's press that into there, and then I think one more of the smaller ones just into there. And then I'm happy with that hat. So some have got little accent white dots on there. Of course, you can come along with little white gel pens if you want to. Or you can come along with your like puffy snow if you want. Or your sparkle pens. Anything like that you can do. That we're going to go just into the middle. So yeah, you've got the best of both worlds. You do. Is going in with the little stars or the circles. So there's our hat. So we've got our hat, we've got our boots. Now, as I said at the start, I'm not using the little legs. We're just going to go in and just use, uh, kind of keep it fun and freaky when it comes to the way that it's positioned. So we don't need them. We've got a little bit of card. So let's do our stamping and matting and layering. So let's take my stamps oh, here they are here so the stamps we've got cheers witches we've got wicked have a boo oh i fell for this the last time fabulous birthday happy ha halloween trick or treat you're so sweet and you say witch like it's a bad thing is it a bad thing I've already cut that down to size. So let's go in with my stamping platform. I think I've just got enough room to put a couple of the little discs in the corner. There. And then there. So let's just move that in a little bit more, and a little bit more. I'm going to stick my head just in the way here, just for a moment. Right, now my original one, I used black, but let's go in with, hmm, let's go in, let's go in with a damson wine. Will we do damson wine? Yeah, let's do damson wine. So I'm going to use damson wine quick dry. And then I'm going to... <laughs> Lily, and I, I thought that as well the first time I seen it. Trick or treat, trick or treat. Smell my feet. The other thing I was like, trick or treat, trick or treat. Give me something good to eat. So we've got happy Halloween. But like usual, when it comes to anything like it's a sentiment or that, what I'm then going to do is do it a few times happy halloween and then i'm going to do it a third time just to get a really nice strong impression and then let's press i agree stephanie i can't wait to see what all of you guys at home do with this collection so let's move that out the way and let's use let's use this one so what I'm going to do, if I can find my tape. So instead of cutting my 
mat and layer a little bit bigger to start with. What I'm going to do with this one is I'm just going to go direct into my card, which is not straight. So I'm going to go in and leave a little mat and layer at the top, and then I'm going to come in with my guillotine. And then cut and I'm just going to do that all the way by eye there. and then that's fine so we've got happy Halloween then what we can do is let's bring back in our card let before we do any more, let's do, you know how I still like to do an insert. Now at the moment, I don't know what. Sorry, I'm just trying to get a bit of cardstock. I don't know what I would want to write in there or stamp in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a blank insert. I'm just going to trim this so that it's nice and straight. So the card blank itself was six by seven and a quarter. So I'm going to come down a quarter of an inch. Eh, sorry, I'm going to come down a whole inch. So five by six and a quarter. There's that. And then that can be four and three quarters by six. So this can be my insert for now and then come nearer Halloween if I'm going to give this to Grayson or Munro or my friends we won Lula or it could be my friends we won Riva I can then decide near the time what I'm going to pop on the inside but at least it's a blank insert done and ready to go so let's add my tape on let's bring this one in and then we can then start to layer the center i just thought before i start layering up the witch's hat and embellishments and that i'm better doing the inside first and then at least that's all done so let's pop that there and then let's take that into here we can do that now if you don't know me by now when it comes to my inserts i tend to do matte and, matte and layer inserts and i do leave a big white border all the way around and then i'll stamp my insert or print it out and then stick it onto there or a variety of different ways in which you can use it so we've got all of our background just about ready now so let's just hold that one down and press there we go Cross is, uh, because i craig i start to put inserts into my card finishes them off so well i just think it does it really does and this can actually go on and continue on to what hannah was asking about selling cards you know, if you do that, then you can easily get, you know, an extra 50p or an extra pound or dollar by doing that. I'm going to go in with these ones here. I'm not going to add foam pads all the way because I want kind of like these bits still to be free floating. So what I'm going to do with this so I'm going to do what I tend to do with things such as my glitter card and that. Add my foam pads. You could use your glue gel instead if you want. But I'm going in with my foam pads. 
what I'm going to do is let's position the feet down there for now so we get an idea. And then I'm going to go at a bit of an angle. And then let's just press down. And I remember now why I went for that little bit of an odd shaped card. It's because I wanted the hat to be kind of like the real focal point of the full size of the card. So let's just hold that one down. And then within this one here, what we can then do is if we take these off and then we can take these ones off. I know what I forgot to do. So let's do it now. The spider webs, I think I'll just manage to do this. I might just need to scrape that back a little bit, which is the joyous thing about whatever this material is, or fabric is, or thing is, embellishment. Let's add glue onto there. And then this one, I'm going to go right into this corner here and then press. I've got uh, how, Susie, how does uh, the song go? Halloween is coming, Halloween is coming, witches, cats and big black bats. Boo, boo. That's how it goes. And that's how it goes. And do you know something? I really need to ask my mum where that song came from. When we were younger, why did where did she hear it from to get us singing it? So I've got my kind of additional spider webs in the back just here. Now what I am actually going to do, I don't know that. Well, that could, yeah, no, that'll be fine. I'm just going to go in. I shouldn't have pouring that up there. I was just thinking, should I go in and add glue gel instead? But no, that will be sufficient. But I am, however, for the remaining of it, going to add my glue gel. I use silicon here. So I'm going to go on top of my foam pads. Of course, you don't have to do it this way. If you want to do the double step of foam pads and glue gel, you don't have to glue gel on its own. Would be more than adequate. I'm just, you know what, I'm, like, I'm just used to using my foam pads. So let's give it extra height and extra stick by putting our glue gel or silicon on top of our foam pads. And I actually think it looks quite quirky without having the legs. You see the boots, you see the hat, but then we don't have the legs. I think it just adds to that eeriness. Just add in glue gel just there and there. Because I'm just, I'm not happy about the stick. I should have used my silicon to start with, but here we go. That will do now. So we're getting that little bit of fun there. What we've then got is our sentiment. And then let's go in with our little spiders. So let's come in with these. So these ones. So this one, I'm just going to put glue on the body and have it hanging down from the top and that will soak in and stick. I'm going to do the same with this one here. I'm going to have it coming down from underneath the hat there. And then when it comes to this one, the sentiment, I'm going to have just along the bottom of the feet. So 
So let's bring that in. And that can then go in the center there. And then let's come in with a little foam pad. Let's bring in a little single spider that we've cut. And then that single spider can just go into there. And then there we go. There is our hat. There is our witch's hat, which between Lily two weeks ago and Sarah at the weekend there, you'll have seen how you can use it as a card blank shape. And I know that Sarah will show you that tomorrow as well. But I thought I really, I really liked the thought and wanted to make it so that the hat and the feet are on the front of a card using all the die cuts are from the full set that's launching tomorrow and then just snuck in a few additional little elements that you may be seeing very very shortly so there it is there so that is a six six by seven and a quarter card shape a little bit of an unusual card shape but that's only because i wanted to get that full shape of the hat edge to edge and then fit in, of course, the hat as well as the feet. So we've got that. And, and it is purposely, we do have a lot of dimension in there. As you can see there, this would still absolutely work if you kept it all on one level. You don't have to do foam pads or glue gel. If you kept it all flat, it would still work a treat because you've got a matting layer, you've got that embellishment, um webbing whatever you want to call it you've got the hat as well as the sentiment spiders so you're still going to get that full depth when it comes to the layer out but if you can get away with adding extra height then why not so there it is there that we can see just here i really need the the light not the lights above the light i've got in front of me it's um well, it's not a true white light, put it that way. So it's coming to look across a bit orangey, tan. But there you go. So we've got our card. We've got that height. We've got the insert done, ready to go whenever I choose to put an insert in. Go in with things such as, you know, if you want to go in with any of your glitter glues you can do if you want to come in with your inks you're distressing if you want to come in with your shimmer sprays shimmer sprays could go in the background or could have could have done the hat and then let's just very quickly where's that one that i did that one there so for brought in even the royal velvet well any of them really any of them you would be able to use. Let's just put that into, I've not even opened this one. Let's bring this one in. There we go. So if I could, I'm just gonna spray just into my bin for a second. So if I, let's then move that out of the way so I can give that a clear just shortly. Now, of course, that would need time to dry. Let's just dab some of that excess off just for a moment, just so you can kind of get the idea. So if you come in with things such as your shimmer sprays, Oh, look at that. Come in with your shimmer sprays. Let's see if we can catch that light again. There. Absolutely fab. Or, you know, the other things, of course. What have I got? What about 
See, I'm just, I'm just having fun. I'm not wanting to go now. Uh, although I will need to go just shortly because I'll need to get to bed. Busy day tomorrow. Um, uh, Where would the be? No, not that one. No, not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Ah, here we go. So, what we could also do is things such as your stencils. So, I've not, gosh, I've not even opened this one yet either. Oh, no, I have. Uh, let's just say, argument's sake, let's kind of go like that diamond chevron sort of one. So always think about your die cuts and how you can spritz over them or you can ink through them or stencil through them. Let's go, I know. Because we're thinking the, the, the witch. Pardon me. As a, let's get that one there. The witch as a spotty face. So let's go... Let's go. Do, 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 do. Let's go, Holly and Ivy. Let's go, Holly and Ivy. And where's my spatula? Here we go. Here. So we could go out now. Of course, you can secure this. I'm just winging this here. Can come over your witch's hat with any of your stencils, any of your paste. There we go. Let's just close that up and then. There we go. So even with coming in with things such as your glitter paste. Now you maybe not necessarily want to do the shimmer and the paste at the same time. Just kind of using them both so I didn't have to waste another one. But giving you that idea. Let's come close up. It gives you that idea as well. There we go. So using your pastes and your stencils over all your die cuts and that as well. Would look fab would look fab so you've got that one let me just wipe my spatula now and then clean the stencil in a moment when we uh, say good night there we go so that is that is our shape card base stamp and die sets it's launching tomorrow officially it's launching it feels like we've been telling you about it forever but it's officially launching tomorrow with sarah sarah and myself in the mid show of the day so all throughout today we've got wake up call then we've got launch day uh from the looks of it we don't have launch party but that would explain because me and Sarah, we're on tomorrow morning for a two-hour QVC UK first look because I know that we've got another QVC TSV on Wednesday night going into Thursday. And then we've got launch party. And then me and Sarah, I've got a three-hour HSN preview after that. So you've got Michelle and Lily and then you've got myself and Sarah and then that's it for Crafters TV. But you've got to start with Sarah and myself doing QVC preview. And then at the end of the day, you've got Sarah and myself doing HSN preview. So a really, really busy day. Going to have to make sure that I've got my LucasAid and my Pro Plus all ready to go. Um, but it's going to be a fun day. It's going to be a fun day. Fun day, but busy day. And I know that you're going to be absolutely loving what Sarah is going to be making tomorrow in launch day. I absolutely know it. And then, m second importantly, after tomorrow's launch of these ones, Sunday. Sunday's the day with myself and Debbie Robinson, the two-hour first look of everything Halloween. Halloween collections, 
Halloween papers, Halloween embellishments, Halloween creator cards, Halloween frame dies. Yeah, I probably told you way too much than I should have, but that's going to be on Sunday, two hour myself and Debbie. We will show you everything and I will be doing demonstrations. I'm on the demonstration side. Debbie's on the presenting side, which is fantastic because she's awesome at it and it's always nice being on the demonstrating side when debbie's in so that's on sunday uh right to you i am going to say uh good night love you and leave you thank you all so much for your lovely comments i have been flicking all the way uh throughout whenever i could do and uh once i go and get my feet up and that i'll have another look so throughout tonight and tomorrow i'll have a, a another look if there's anything that i miss needs my attention i will give it to my give you my attention uh massive thank you though to susie once again like me and me and debbie openly you know we do these lives in our own time our free time um because of the love of it and because we love doing them for you guys that goes for Susie as well Susie giving me a helping hand she's doing that in her free time uh watching and just helping so massive thank you to you Susie really really do appreciate it uh right so Sam Sam Golden if you either on youtube or on facebook so all our crafters tv shows are on facebook are on youtube or are on our website that you can go across so not sure where in the world you are sam um but myself and sarah we are going to be on at two o'clock uk time so that's going to be 1 12 11 10 9 a.m eastern time 8 a.m central time or 6 a.m pacific time so that's going to be on crafters tv or crafters companion facebook page i'll also be on my facebook page i'll be on sarah's facebook page and it'll be on our youtube channel as well crafters tv as well as our website crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu so that's where you need to go so all of our shows are so social platforms so you'll be able to find us there so if any difficulty just keep an eye on my facebook page and you'll see us coming up at uh, of course um 2 p.m. UK time, 9 a.m. Eastern time, 8 a.m. Central time, or of course, 6 a.m. Pacific time. Sure, I've got that right. So hopefully that helps. Thank you once again. Have a lovely rest of the day here in the UK. We've got about an hour, uh, two hours and 15 minutes before the day is out for you guys stateside. Have a lovely rest of a Monday. For you guys in Oz, we'll have a very good start of tomorrow because I know it'll be uh, next day for you guys. Uh, thank you for all the love and support. Thank you for watching. Uh, I will do another live very, very soon. I promise you that. Getting the swing of these ones again. Anyway, have a lovely time. Have a lovely day. I'll see you tomorrow with Sarah on Crafters TV.